Hello everyone, welcome to Draw by Math. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to draw a coronavirus. So this will be a series of tutorials because the structure is quite complex. In this video, I will show you how to draw the spike protein. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, we need to uh, create a triangle. So let's grab your start tool right here and double click on the canvas. You'll see in the panel there is an option called points and if you choose three points and click OK then you will get a triangle. So this will be the crown part of the spike. Okay, so let me resize it to the size of the spike in the example. Okay, it could be a bit bigger. Then we need to make the stem. So let's go back to our rectangle tool, then draw a very thin rectangle. Okay. And select these two and let's align them properly to the center. Well, the next step is to combine these two with the Pathfinder tool right here and if you cannot find it you can go to window pathfinder tool and click on it and you'll get this panel and we will unite these two shapes into one once we have that done let's pick up our direct selection tool which can allow you to select individual points so when you select these anchor points you will see some of them have these circles and these handles can help you to round the corners. This will be the essential function that we need to make these rounded, smooth. Uh, this round this, this. This will be the essential function to allow us to make these rounded grooves around the structure. First, let's round up the crown part. nice and easy and then let's smoothen the transition between the crown and the stem. Then uh, as you can see your crown is almost ready. Um, it is a little bit smaller than the example so I will just size it up a little bit more. Um, well it doesn't need to be exactly like the example uh, but if you really want it, you can just adjust it slightly by yourself. Okay. And then we will need to create this gradient to uh, indicate the volume of the structure. Um, to do that, let's go to gradient tool and select a radial gradient. I will cover how to adjust the gradient in another tutorial. So here I will just uh, very quickly put on a gradient that I already created previously and center the lightest part at the crown. Then you will get this volume from your structure. And for the outline, I will typically use the um, gray over here, uh, not completely black, but gray. I will also cover that in a separate tutorial. Once your spike is ready, let's move it to where it should be on the virus. And let's send it back and uh, position it right on top of the viral capsule. Okay, so that's one spike and we need, that's one spike ready and we need 17 more. We have a function called the rotation tool over here. It is very handy when you need to create a repetitive pattern. Okay, so grab your rotation tool and when you have that, you will see a blue uh, target sign over here and it indicates the rotation anchor. Um, well, we want it to be at the center of the virus. To move that to the center, we need to hold on Alt and then click on the center. 
then you'll see the anchor is positioned at the center of the virus. Then uh, you will have this window pop up. The, here you can decide uh, how many degree you want to rotate your object. We want 18 spikes in total and that will be a 20 degree increments in the rotation while we're duplicating the spike. So uh, let's set it at 20 degree and you can preview how it will look like. That is great. So uh, let's uh, turn the review off and then start copying in it. Okay, that's one copy of the spike. In Illustrator, if you want to repeat an action, there's a shortcut which is Command D, and then keep clicking on Command D, and uh, it will repeat our rotation copy along the surface of the virus. Just keep on clicking it until the spikes are equally distributed on the virus. Yeah, so this is the part one for learning how to draw coronavirus. And uh, if you want to follow on with the part two and part three, uh, please make sure you subscribe to Draw Biomed. And uh, I'll see you at the next tutorial.